if we are talking about progress we want to make progress you want to make progress in business in family life in relationship there are things we must consider and one of the factors for progress is light so much light you cannot make progress when there is no adequate light it takes light to run faster it takes light to increase your speed when we are talking about progress we are talking about speed unusual speed but for that to happen you must be a man and a woman of light Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 now said he said arise and shine for your light has come for your light has what come he said arise shine for your light has come the word arise shine that talks about arise make progress for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you that is the number one factor when we are talking about progress is light God can reveal something to you and you won't gain mastery over that issue that is why when you are going through any challenge because in this current age people are going through challenge every day when you are going through any challenge and it seems there is no way out the best prayer to pray as a child of God Lord what is the way out where is the way out show me what to do it is what God showed to you that we call light that we call what light it is what God showed to you that we call light that is you are having issue in your marital life there is no progress all you need to do is to sit down with the book which is the word of God prayerfully open it and expectantly read it now watch this prayerfully read it and expectantly what huh expect that is you are having issue with your marriage now you have tried all you could do you have called everybody to cancel no way out there are people like that sit down with the book open your heart expect god to give you a specific light from that scripture just a revelation from that book we solve 10 years of marital crisis that is what we call light that's what we call what light you see somebody might be saying something to you and he's saying this something you are just listening he will speak to a point and you begin to say i see i what were you blind before no your eyes just got open light what is light god revealing what was hidden god revealing what was hidden now listen to this when a carnal man reads the word what he sees is letter when a spiritual minded man reads the word what is here is local a rema i come again when a carnal man reads the word what he sees is logos the word letter is logos but when a spiritual minded man reads the same word what he perceive and hear is rema you can't receive rema until you are spiritually minded do you understand what i'm saying here that's what the bible said to be carnally minded is dead but to be spiritually what minded is life and what peace that is you are having issue in your business it seems not is working carry the book everything you ever need in life is in the book is where in the book listen the book i'm not talking about your test book oh. I'm not talking about physics book i'm talking about the word the bible the bible is the compass of life when god created you here he gave you a manual to operate your life and that manual is the word 
Now, the Lord God knows that there will be a specific time in your life where you will need direction. He gave you the manual when you are confused. He expects you to go back to the manual before you go to him. Am I talking to somebody here? When you are confused, he expects you to go to the manual before you go to him. The principal way God gives people light is from the word. Is from what? Is from the word. He said, until his word came, he was kept in prison. But when his word came, the priest, the king, sent for him and said, lose him. His freedom was given. His liberty was given. Why? When this word came. Every time your word comes, light have come. Am I talking to somebody here? That is why, for instance, in relationships, sir, in marriage, you don't go into marriage by feelings or emotions. You go into marriage with a word from God. With a word from God. That is, when challenges comes in the midst of the marriage, when you are praying to God, what you remind God is the word he gave you. Am I speaking to a church here? There is a word he gave us. A bad lighthouse. And what is the word? A global ministry. A life-giving ministry. A saving ministry. It is that word that we refer to him. And he said, he said, come to me with your strong reasons. The strong reasons he's talking about is the word, sir. Is what? The word. That is, the number one key to making progress in life is the key of light. Sir, we are in a dark age, oh, and at night, no matter how good your car is, no matter how powerful your car is, if there is no headlight, you can't run fast. Am I speaking to a church? But once you switch on the headlight, your speed increases. The speed you experience in this dark age is determined by your floodlight. The farther your light can go, the faster you run. Am I talking to somebody here? That's why I say, arise and shine for your light has come. There can never be shining. There can never be speed until there is a dawn of light. That is, as a wise Christian, as a wise child of God, the first thing you do, sir, is to go for light before start running. Because you like it or not, we are in the end of the earth. We are in a dark season. We are in a dark age. Before you launch out, gather enough light. Gather enough what? Light. It is madness to bring out your car from the house to the road at night without headlight. Even the police will arrest you. Huh? If the police don't arrest you, you will run into a ditch hole. Now, we are, you see, listen to this. We are in a dark age. And in this dark age, you are expected to put on your flood light. Your flood what? Light. Your flood light. Your flood light. I see somebody's light coming alive. If you believe it, you say louder, amen. Here, John 12 35. Quickly, John 12 35. I see somebody's light coming alive. John 12 35. Now, listen to this. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye are. Ye have the light. Least darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. He that walks in darkness does not know where he is going. That is, Jesus was admonishing us to walk in the light. To walk in the light. So much our dedication. Say it louder. Say it like a Christian. There's somewhere I want us to read. It will help somebody. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Quickly. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. You have to be dedicated. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. One, two, let's go. And let us not be what? Weary in where doing for in due season. Now mark that word due season. 
that established the fact that there is due season for everything there's due season but a lot of people in our generation don't want to wait for due season there's due season for progress there's due season for announcement there's due season for glorification people want to jump the gun people want to arrive before their time A mother that will not be patient to carry the pregnancy for nine months will give birth to Pashoko. He said, Don't be weary in well doing, for in due season. You see that now? There's, this, uh, there's a due season for your manifestation. But before the due season, you must be doing well. For in due season, you sh we shall reap. If we what? Faint not. What helps you not to faint in the midst of opposition is dedication. Anything you are not dedicated to, you will, be, you will easily get fainted. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you going is dedication. Is dedication. God can never reward an undedicated Christian. Never. The word faithfulness is gotten from the word dedication. One of the nature of God is that he's a dedicated God. He's too faithful to fail us. That talks about dedication. You call him in the morning, is there. After he's there. After he's, night is there. He doesn't go on transfer. He doesn't get weak. He doesn't get discouraged. He doesn't get tired. He's there. And one of the proof of spiritual maturity is dedication. Is dedication. There are people that are not dedicated, not just to God, even to their life. I'm a pastor. I'm always in church. You can't come to church and not find me. I'm dedicated to my cause. A friend have asked me, say, how do you explain the scripture so cheaply? And you, you, every time I hear you are fresh. I say, I'm dedicated to my assignment. God will only lift dedicated men. No pray men. Prayer without dedication is failure in these guys. It's failure in these guys. We have men that are not ready to be sold out to the assignment. Check everyone that ever became greater. They started small. I make a decree as many watching online anywhere. Receive the grace to be dedicated. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say receive the grace to be dedicated. I, I thought somebody would say dedication. We are going to take two scriptures that are going to help us. Proverbs 13 4. Proverbs 13 4. Skali Brahala Membroho Sahyande. Proverbs 13 4. Quickly. Okay. Let's read it. Proverbs 13 4. Let's read it together. I want to go. The soul of the sluggard desire it and had nothing. Now, listen, you know. The soul that we have nothing is the sluggard. Hello? The soul of the sluggard desire it and had nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made what? Fat. The soul of the diligent. Behind every lack is slack. Is what? Slack. Slack. Is the mother of lack and lack is the mother for lack you want to lack be slack a wise man said if you want to be sleepers just sleep too much when you oversleep you become sleepers when you are not working and you are praying for promotion you are telling God to be to be partial you are telling God to join fraud and God can be part of fraud but when you have worked and they deny you of your promotion, when you pray, God answers speedily. The reason why a lot of people, God has not answered their prayer of, Lord, promote me, promote me, they are not working. The God we serve is the one that is I go to and fro, sees everything that happens on the earth. When you are a real worker and you pray for promotion, God can't resist you. Even Satan himself will give up. Work has a language and work has an atmosphere. Do you know the language of work? The language of work is what next to do. What next to do. 
what next to do. Not that okay, we have arrived. The reason why Africans are not great, they arrive too early. They arrive too soon. What next to do? I have written 70 gadgets, 70 major things to be done after the proper lockdown. 17. 17. In the second, in the two phase of lockdown, I read five major books that I have not started speaking from. The language of work is what next to do. Can I say this? Even the first point I gave you, light, you can only get light in the place of work. He says, see that a man diligent in his job, he shall stand before kings and not what? Ordinary men. That's why you see me stand with people like Bishop Edipo. They are kings in my field. <laughs> Walk. I told somebody, I said, if he calls me, we are in a conference, I said, David, can you give a charge? They will know someone is giving a charge. When, prepare, when, when opportunity meets with preparation, a miracle is born. In that your field, are you preparing? That one day, opportunity will meet with you. And it is destined will smile at you. Go back and challenge yourself. I must walk. Even when Jesus came here, Jesus said, I must walk the walk of him that sent me. Why is his word? Day. Do you know what the word day means? Why I'm still a youth? <laughs> because night cometh where no man can walk. Do you know the word night? The word night talks about elderly age. Elders don't walk. When you see an elderly man, 65 years doing gate man, he didn't walk in his youthful age. Am I talking to somebody here? Icarus Kada, elders are to relax and enjoy the fruit of their labor. <laughs> I wish people are hearing this online. When you see an elder, I say, Papa, open the gate. He didn't walk. Don't pity him. <laughs> that is why, listen, we have, you have four thirties in life. The first thirty is the time of learning. The second thirty is the time of manifestation. Hello? time of manifestation and results the next 30 is the time of enjoyment the last 30 is the time of wrapping up your mat to go home when you are walking when you ought to be resting you were stupid when you were there am i talking to somebody here when you walk correctly god has a way of compensating you god has what we call compensator factor in his agenda Am I talking to somebody here? He has it in his agenda. He can't leave you uncompensatedly. He will always compensate you. When you are a genuine and a smart worker, opportunity will smile with you. Smile at you. Everyone that ever became great, it was an opportunity God sent their way. And they grab it and today, they have been celebrated. Your name will not be forgotten in the sound of time. In the name of Jesus. When they are calling men that worked, when they are calling men that matters in our generation, they will call your name. I thought you say better amen here. I said they will call your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up of your feet, lift up your two hands. Ask the Lord to flood you with grace to walk. Go ahead and pray now. Lord, I receive grace to walk. Ma praketo saba bale ketazanai. Jeleko parata kisoko parada. Mangrakato soko parati leke paradaga. Mengratu sopali.